Hi Practicum, welcome to week 12. Uh, we have a pretty quick week in terms of when people are here this week. For the 14th and 15th there will be no practicum on site. Uh, we're just having the practicum come out on the 16th and 17th. So Jordan will do the nature studies on the 14th and Shana will do it on the 15th. On the 16th we'll have Ashley and Zach driving two vehicles out since uh, we'll have one that will be leaving and one staying for the evening program. Uh, Sarah A. is going to be meet Brianna and Zach for the evening program that night, and she's leading that. Um, so Wednesday we have a school group that's here, McKinley, and they're bringing about 36 fifth graders out. They are just coming for an extended day program, so there are hot meals for the day. Um, but you should s see that the campfire ends at 8.15 and they leave right at 8.30. So it is sort of those abbreviated program. But Sarah A will be doing the BAT program and then Brianna and Zach will be assisting with the campfire that night. We can assume to have an outdoor campfire. Um, we've got people either teaching group initiatives or like Sydney's going to do the nature study this week. Um, and Sarah S is doing nature study. We've got Darcy, Olivia, and Scott on the regular lessons for the day. And then we'll see the same exact schedule on Thursday. This time Mark and Brittany will drive two vehicles out, again, because of the evening program. Uh, it is a different group of students, but it's the same school. So we're going through the same lessons, group initiatives, skullduggery, Native Americans, and early explorers. Um, this time you'll see different people teaching. Brittany's got the nature study for it that day. And then Friday, Jake, we will not be having practicum on Friday. There's no school group and no charter school group, so you don't need to come out on Friday. So that's your uh, Friday off. A uh, couple things about the schedule as well. Um, two, Thursday and Friday, we're always meeting at 9. Um, your goals for the week, I do have a goal for you. And that is to include transitions between every activity, not just that, that transition you do in your lesson prep between the introduction and the body of the lesson and between the body and the conclusion, but, in, but a transition between every single activity so that we can see there's a clear flow from activity to activity. The theme for the charter school lessons is herpetology this week. By that, um, it can mean many different things, but for the early ages, the early um, classroom, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, you might just have a story about salamanders. Uh, there's a great book called The Salamander Room you might want to share. I think we have it at Suez here. And um, going out and maybe how salamanders move, uh, maybe you could do a little bit of exploring. But for the older grades, the first, second grade, and third through fifth, I'd like to go over the, the, um, the herps that we have at Suez. So frogs um, and salamanders and snakes you can do too. Um, well, probably just mostly frogs and salamanders because that's what you can search for. And you can go under, look under rocks. We can lay out some, I already have some um, cover boards that are out near Minister Lake. If you can get them all the way out there, you can lift those up and see if there's any herps there. I just want them to really explore and learn a little bit about um, what they are and um, the ones that we have common at, common at Suez. So um, if you may want to run some ideas by me and make sure we're not overlapping too much with activities, but I think it'll go really well. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.